Welcome MFL viewers to Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium, built on money from a loan that can't possibly be paid back. Now this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Terra Bay Mutineers battle. The Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So, what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they're going to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pot pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Watching out for that dirty trick. Third down and five. Hot one, hot two, hot. unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Right Rage ignites that deep down violent rage, and, and he's off to the races. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The 30. The 20. The 10. Touchdown! Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. It's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the pet. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Second down and two.
Third down and nine. First and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the... He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And the only picks up a two. running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Eh, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And that'll be second and eight to go. And the defense was reading him like a book. Like the way he's written in Braille, Grim. His hands are all over the ball. Boom, dead. Freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, sit so down, my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah nobody didn't work that time. I was close, though. Yep. That's right. What you talking about? The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Ah, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and more than the QB would like. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. 
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Quarterback threads the... Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. Second down and nine. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up. Bingo, bingo. I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. Third down and five. whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust! In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. First down and three. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. 
he's gonna be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. It's two-yard run. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That yeah, was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but... What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Third down and eight. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt! Should move them back nicely. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap! And it's first and ten. was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk! Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. First and ten. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. is good for six yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Pow! With the brain scrambler! 
Giants lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. Two minutes remain in the half. Great! I gotta take a dump! Again? You just went. How is that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man! Want some? He's at the 10, and he put the Jets on and caught him from behind. <laughs> and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. First and eight to go. for a touchdown. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good. As expected. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Briggs? Hey, have you seen my beer? They stumped the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Briggs. Like ah, another interception. Easy. Hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he's 
running like a moose right now. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Oh, it's a player's favorite. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. He is put up the ball. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. They're saving Prince's ex girlfriend signals when they were doing it. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Second down in a line. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Second down and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And that'll bring up third and one. pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about you. Man, what a hit that was. <laughs> see that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> the offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. And he finds open space, he's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. 
showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. turn after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. He refuses to go down. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And that's a fumble recovery in return for a touchdown. What a great defensive play. <laughs> The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Third and one. <laughs> and out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. 
And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball. Now, back, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shithouse. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Here comes the defense. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First 
first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Right, the team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Hopefully the next guy learns or we're going to have a pile of dead refs. <laughs> first down in a mile. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs>
First down and three. And the ball razors through the defense. And that was a perfect pass. And he scores handily. Now this reminds me of a lap dance I had by a skeleton once. Oh yeah, after the mayhem ball that club six feet on that bench. Yeah. My wife could smell the fun there on me when I got home. Big trouble. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. I think I showed my cards. It's out to me. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. And they're catching up. Joke, job, go shopping. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopsing time. That's why the... At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. Yeah. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. First and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, and that's a run for no gain. <laughs> First down and forever. Footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down in a mile. And he breaks away. Wow, he took like a thousand volts a shot there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden, the ant smiler. Did the shot treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I. I guess it worked for her. Third down and five. And he's up to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can see that, Grim. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners then. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean refund for it? No, no, Brick. You mean he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew. The offense lost. 
to know their quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Flynn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle to neither team can put their players on the bench. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Briggs. meets the explosive object. The offense lost another receiver on that play and only two remain on the roster. When a team loses all the receivers, they have to forfeit. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays... I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... You just throw it to the guy and then he could go all the way! Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips as they... Oh, mama! Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. The defender says, I don't think so. And the offense goes into their two minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brit's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First and ten. Hot one. Hot. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> First and ten. Kaboom! And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch! Oh, holy! The Evils did some serious house cleaning today, forcing a forfeit on their home turf. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Griff. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.